I, I would like to see the Constitution restored. Are you living on the same planet as me? That's never going to happen. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Well, I'm standing here with Jim Rubens, who is a candidate for U.S. Senate uh, here in New Hampshire. And, oh, it's okay. I'll, I'll hold on to it. But, uh, Perfect. Yeah. I guess a, a couple questions I have. Uh, were, you, were you at the, uh, the, uh, the, the Liberty of, what is it called? The Liberty, uh, where Rand Paul was. What was that, that event called? Uh, it was the it was the Liberty Forum, right? Uh, in Nashua? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, no, there was an event this week, or, or I guess last week, uh, and I, I can't remember what they called it, but Rand Paul was there, Donald Trump was there. Did you happen to oh, go? Oh, yes, yeah. Did the, you happen to go yes, by that? Yes, I was there, yeah. Uh, so you're doing yes. better than me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was there, yeah. Uh, did you happen I'm to everywhere. See, did you happen to see or see the video of this Iraq war veteran that got kicked out of the, uh, kicked out of the event? I did not see that. Did you hear about it? I did not hear about it. Um, under what circumstances did an event that's, you know, billed to be pro-liberty be kicking people out for having the wrong views or, uh, or whatnot? Uh, did you? Did you what, what, please explain to me what were what were his views? Uh, well, I guess he was just. Uh, I guess he was taking he was taking pictures and interviewing someone. I'm not mm -hmm. sure how much of his views he was actually expressing until mm -hmm. they started kicking him out. Oh yeah. Um, mm. But, I mean, you know, it's private property, supposedly they yep. have the right, but it's, yep. it's a Rand Paul event, he's supposed to stand yep. for liberty, and do you, yep. do you think he should be kicking people out? I don't know the circumstances enough to know, but uh, I know a lot of people were taking pictures, and uh, Shaheen trackers have been taking pictures of me since June when I began campaigning, it's, it's part of life. What do we want? Health care. When do we, when do we want, want it? Now. If you're in the public sphere, you ought to be, you ought to be comfortable uh, having people who might have views adverse to yours taking pictures of you and asking you questions. If you can't answer questions from people with differing points of view, you shouldn't be in politics. The Shaheen tracker. Well, I don't is know a, the circumstances. That's a big backhanded compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not complimenting that tracker. We we do feed him occasionally. Okay, <laughs> to well, keep him happy. Uh, well, but, I guess uh, another another question. But their objective oh, is sorry. not to. But their objective is not to enhance public debate. It's to get you got you moment, put it on TV out of context. So you got to yeah. consider that also. Right. I've seen it done, and if you, I were a politician, it would have been done to me. Exactly. Now. Exactly. It's, but it's it's part of life being a politician. Yeah. You know, if you're if you're not comfortable. Um, you know, speaking to members of the public whose views might differ with your own, then you probably shouldn't be in politics. And I know candidates who are who feel that way. Her so much here. It's great to see her here. Like Jean Shaheen, she has not had an open public forum where 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 the public can answer, ask, and, and be and be given answers to unfiltered questions in years. Oh, speaking, big, speaking yep. of which, if you were yes. to become senator, can you guarantee me that you would have your forums in some place other than these fortified federal compounds? Exactly. And other exactly. You're making my case for me. I, I will guarantee that to you. Guarantee that to you. That's what I did when I was state senator. I was accessible to the public. I, I managed to return every phone call uh, during my time in office. If you if, if you like Jean Shaheen, become a creature of Washington, a career politician, insulated from the people, you lose the ability to represent the people of your state, and that's where she's at right now. We need a candidate for U.S. Senate who's connected to the people of the state and serious about solving our nation's problems. There are, I guess, probably about twice as many countries now as there were 25 or 30 years uh, ago. And sooner or later, the secession bug is going to hit the United States. When it does, are your loyalties with New Hampshire or with Washington? You mean the, the extent to which a state like California could uh, divide itself into parts? No, that, I'm thinking more like, I mean, personally, I would like oh, to see oh, New Hampshire independent. From, successing from the Union. Uh, I don't see any merit to that, I'm afraid to say. Oh. So yeah. you want us to continue having to live under Washington rule with all these terrible rules that will never go away? I, w I would like to see the Constitution restored. Uh, we have the Tenth Amendment which, uh, uh, and the Ninth Amendment uh, in combination of which uh, grant to the states. Are you and, living uh, on the same planet as me? That's never going to happen. Well, it's what the Constitution... We, we have the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. And there, Dan Feinstein, a senator and peer of uh, Jean Jaheen, is proposing licensing journalists. You're a journalist. Okay, would you like to be licensed?
can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.